Hi everybody. All right, so let me start off by saying that I am not a professional hairstylist by any means. This is why I love the people that are um, because they can help me make my hair look good. But I did want to do a little video because I just got a new um, tool in that I'm going to try out for the first time. And I feel like there might be some people that are interested in checking into this. So um, I follow a lot of makeup people. I will start off by saying this also, I am not loyal, I will be the first to tell you, I'm not really loyal to any hair care, skincare, makeup products. I really love playing and trying things out. So at, just like our hormones change and the seasons and the weather changes, my skin and hair changes as well. So I love testing things out to see kind of what works for me at that time. So um, I know I've talked about other um, skincare products. I've talked about makeup. I've talked about a lot of different things in the past and I will always do that. But I, when people message me and ask me what's my favorite foundation or what's my favorite this or that, I will tell you First and foremost, that I'm not super loyal, there are a couple of products, like a handful of products, that I will buy time and time again just because I love them. But other than that, I love playing. I love playing and testing out new products and trying new things. And when other people recommend a foundation or a eyeshadow, then I will totally play and test it out and try it just because... Why not? I mean, that's super fun. Plus, a lot of times you can support somebody in their small business um, and... Who doesn't want to do that, right? You want to support your friends. Women supporting women. So anyways, uh, I follow a bunch of makeup ladies that seem to also sell lunge hair care products. Not So I have been seeing them sharing this Le Duo. Ooh, okay, so I ordered it. I totally... I totally bought in and they were offering it for a good deal. So I ordered it and it just came in the mail yesterday. All right. So what is it? It is the Le Duo. It sounds super fancy. And it is called an Airflow Styler. Okay. So here's the deal. It is a flat iron but it's also rounded. So if any of you have ever tried curling your hair with a flat iron, which is basically how I curl my hair always, whenever I curl it, um, then you know that generally it's like a, almost like a rectangular shape, but it is usually a little squared along the edges. Well, this one is round and it has the little, little handle here like a normal curling iron. So it's like a two for one, but also, can you hear that? It's got this, these little vents here that cool, supposedly, as you're like working the curl through, it's kind of cooling that and setting it. I'm super excited to try it. So um, I haven't tried this yet. I literally have not tried this at all. I just unboxed it and um, I plugged it in and I like the lights were flashing here. So there's a bunch of different heat settings. It starts at 280 and goes up to 4.30, I don't have my glasses on. Um, I've got it set at 3.60, just because I know a few other ladies that I follow, that's what they recommended. So I'm gonna try that and see. And um, as soon as I plugged it in, I tried turning the fan on, and these lights were flashing, obviously, as it was heating up. And the fa fan didn't do anything, and I thought, oh great, I've got a dud. So I set it down, and literally 10 seconds later, the fan started going. And I figured that's because these lights weren't flashing anymore, and it was, it heated up that fast. So it literally took it like 10 seconds from plugging it in and turning it on to heat up, and it was done and ready. But it's ready to go. So I'm going to start a few curls, and then I'll probably speed up this video so you don't have to hear me talking or like watch me forever. Um, but I'm hoping that this helps me move a lot faster. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so normally I start by sectioning, actually, I also purchased this heat shield. I'm just gonna put a few sprays here so that I'm protecting my hair. Give it a little dry here. So this is, you always wanna use some sort of heat protectant whenever you're putting heat on your hair. I can tell you that. I have learned that from my hair girl, of course. Um, and then I usually, like to just kind of take my hair and section it. So I'm gonna put the top up, just do a little twist here and clip it. 
And let's see how this bad boy works. Turning that fan on. Okay, so now I do have this little piece here. I did the little kind of like undercut. So as you can see, this is, um, this whole little section was kind of just cut and like shaved. It's a little bit long enough now where I can actually put it behind my ear. So I'm gonna take these little sections. I am gonna do a smaller section. And let's see. Pulling it through. Ah, how cute. Okay, let's try this again. Take another section, smooth it out. I do really like the way that it glides. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl it and pull. I'm not even using the little handle anymore. Oh, so cute. I, it glides really, really nicely. That's the one complaint I will say I've had with my with my um, straightener is I feel like it like gets stuck in my hair and it like pulls hairs. I don't like that. I really don't like that. So I'm also using my mirror. So if you think, wonder what I'm looking at. All right, pull. Ah. Ooh, I'm digging this. All right, let me get this piece back here because that's a weird piece. So you just use it like a curling iron. I always curl away. Ooh, I can feel that, feel that air in my ear and snap it on there. I like that it's not like super crazy curl. Um, it's giving the look of a flat iron curl. A flat iron curl, a straightener curl, is different than a, using a curling iron. All right, so same thing. I'm just gonna kind of hold that. It is not super hot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. Again, curling away from my face. And sometimes back here too, when I curl, as I do the next layer, I will curl some forward and some backward if it's away from my face, just cause it gives it a little bit of added like dimension. But I really am like digging this. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up and continue on. make a smaller little section up here, the very, very top. You can hear that fan going still. I'll turn that off for a second. So the very, very top, I always like to really pay like extra attention to because that's the area right around your face, what everybody kind of sees the most. So I'm gonna section just a little bit of a smaller part here. I always just kind of twist and whatever, as long as it's out of your way. Okay, so, there we go. So now I've got another little layer here that I need to work with. So again, I'm gonna start the same thing what I was doing before and just take those smaller sections. Let me turn this fan back on because I think it's kind of cool. I do love, like, it was really close to my face. You're not gonna get burn marks here, okay? I just put it on my face. It's warm, but not hot. And if anybody has shorter hair like me in this back part here, that's where I always get myself, okay? In the neck, and I just did that and it was totally fine. It wasn't burning me at all. So I'm going all the way up to the root and I'm just pulling it pretty quickly. You don't let, unlike with a curling iron where you curl it and you like leave it there, I feel like forever, you wanna keep this moving because that's how you work with a flat iron when you're curling your hair, okay? You keep it moving. Oh, I got a piece here. Um, and that's, that's really why I prefer using it, just because I feel like it's less damaging on your hair, because you're not just like setting it there and holding that heat forever. So you just keep it moving, and I kind of move and pull downward so that it helps bring, because I have shorter hair, okay? So obviously I don't want curls to be like out like this crazy, but I do want to give that volume of a good curl, but I just will go all the way up to the root, and, or as close as you can, and then clamp on and just twist and pull downward. Oh, so cute. I'm like loving this, totally loving this. 
I'm gonna keep on going here. strategic about this just because I don't want crazy like whopper draw you know pearls going everywhere so I'm going to take this turn my little fan back on so you can hear that and again smaller sections because the the heat will like evenly distribute better when you have a smaller section it's harder for it to do that look at that it's like so perfect I love that this is curling down. A lot of times when I do a flat iron, like the ends stick out funny. So I don't always love that. And so that's, that was always been my struggle. So again, close to the root there. I'm just clamping. I'm not even like pinching and just twisting with my wrist there and bringing it down. Ooh! Love, love, love. Okay. Smaller suction. I, again, I'm doing this away from my face because it won't, you know, close in your face. This will help give a little bit of volume and I can feel that cool air. Twisting with the wrist and then bringing down. <gasps> yes. All right, do this again. So I just have pretty much, I think, one more section to do. And I'm just moving it as I'm going. Easy, easy, easy. This should really be my last little section. And then I need to double check my back of my hair because I haven't looked in the mirror yet. The back. Ah. All right. So then I kind of will just go through and see if there's any weird, you know, straight pieces. I obviously need to check the back. I'm gonna turn that little fan off. Okay, so here's my curls. I will, what do I wanna use, what do I wanna use? Okay, so normally I do love this product. Um, this is by Sexy Hair again, and it is a texture like pomade. So it's a little bit of a wax. Russ and I use this, he uses this um, for his hair just to kinda spike it a little bit and separate it. And so this is definitely a, a, a couple's product here. <laughs> And I just use a little bit, I've used it for years in my hair. I use a little bit and I just kind of put it in my palm and try to get it so it's like completely not chunky and absorbed in my hands. So now my hands are sticky and I'll just go through and just kind of give it a little scrunch. It helps to, you know, kind of texturize it a little bit. Ooh, I am loving these curls. Now I always like a good little ear tuck, so I'll pull those little kind of my little undercut down there and then just really just play with it and like separate you know maybe do your bangs a little bit differently however you want that to look but how cute I will show a little 360 but here is my little curls I really really love it I mean look at the volume in my hair okay I am not a volume queen. I'm going to spray this. Um, I've been using Chi. Again, I am not loyal. I bought this at Marshall's because it was on sale. It was like seven bucks. So I figured I would try it. I've actually really been liking it though. I usually use Kenra hairspray. I really like Kenra hairspray. But there you go. Just kind of work your fingers through and how cute. Okay, I'm really totally loving this. I will finish kind of styling and I'll take a little 360 photo if I can. I'm just here by myself, so we'll see how that will work out. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. 